Safety alert. Always remember a clean studio is a safe studio. An environment high in clay dust poses a true health hazard. It is always best to avoid airborne dust by quick cleanup of all debris while still moist and wet mopping all dust from the floor before it becomes airborne. Let's start by sweeping the debris off your table at the end of each class. You want to sweep the debris, then dump it into the trash can. After you've swept, then lightly sponge the table to remove any evidence of having worked in clay. Please rinse your sponge when finished sponging. Squeeze it out and return it. Your tools need to be cleaned at the end of every session. Take them to the sink, wipe them down, rinse them off, use a towel or a sponge, whatever works best for you. Really look for the clay that is on those tools. Sometimes it's hard to see. Note the difference before and after. Please remember to wipe down your tool bin as well. A lot of times clay will be on the tool bin. Next, we clean the floors. First, grab yourself a broom and you wanna sweep all the debris that is all around and under your table. Please reach way under the table, under the little shelf, to get all of the debris. Use the dustpan and please pick up all the debris. When you're sweeping, Move some things that might be in your way. If you're near a clay can, move the clay can or move a trash can and definitely pick up bags from the floor. Dump all of your debris into the trash can, clip the dustpan back onto the broom and rehang where it goes. Next, grab a mop. You'll find some hanging at the end of cabinet 13 and on the door to C114. And then grab a clean, rinsed out mop pad from the rack between sinks one and two. Rinse it out yourself before you use it just to make sure it's clean. Place the mop pad on the floor, then place the mop on top of the mop pad and wipe. Reach all the way underneath your table, move out chairs, look around for any evidence of clay on the floor. Our goal is to get all the clay dust up off the floor at the end of the bell. Now rinse out your dirty mop pad. Squeeze it out very well when you're done and rehang it on the rack between sinks one and two. And rehang your mops back where they go. You can use a paper towel to clean out any gross debris that might be in the sinks from after mopping. Now let's clean off the sinks. Grab an orange towel first, rinse it out, and wipe down the top of the sink. Look at the edges and around the faucets too. Wipe down anywhere that you might see clay or splashes of clay. Also, look at the little green counter between the sinks, pick up items and wipe that down. Let's talk about paint brushes. Please always clean the glaze out of your brushes well. Gently rub the bristles on your fingers. Use a little bit of soap and rinse it out well. You wanna get all of the glaze out of those brushes before you return it. Gently shake off the excess and put it fluffy end up in the brush jar. Remember, don't use stiff bristled brushes for glaze. Those are not for glaze, that's for clay. The fluffy ones are what you want. When you use a turntable, always clean it off before you return it. Just sponge it off and then return it behind the line on the counter. They should be in a single stack up against the wall. Clean those dirty sponges if you see them in your basket. Don't put them back for the next person messy. 
Rinse them out well and squeeze them out before you return them to the sponge basket so they don't drip. Lastly, when you're cleaning up, please rinse out your orange towel when you are all done and rehang it on the sink to dry. And please return the bags to the bag drawer. I reuse them. Don't just throw them away. Also, return scissors to the scissors drawer and return your tool bins back on the counter where they go. And hang up your aprons before you leave.